Hey Cam, tell us about coming off the bench when you normally start for your club side. Pretty nervous your first couple of games? Um, coming off the bench? Um, I don't know, I, I actually, I wasn't too bad actually. It's probably, I probably get a little bit less nervous, especially to lead up. I know I'm starting off the bench, so I get a, a good 20, 30 minutes to see how the game's going and, um, you know, see where I can sort of uh, play to my strengths and stuff like that. So, um, and, and I came off the bench most of last year for, for my club too, so I wasn't, it wasn't something that I was um, completely um, not used to. So, um, I guess it's just something that you have to, um, Talk, you have to talk yourself, you have to say, uh, not play the game in your head before you get on because um, drain all your energy and stuff like that. So I just try and, I try and stay calm for as long as possible before I get the, um, the call up. So yeah, I was on a stranger to it, so I, didn't, I don't mind it actually, it's, it's all right. Depending on the, the position of the game, points scored on the board with New South Wales leading so comfortably in the second game, does that change your role at all, your mindset, or how are you going to play? Um, not really. It probably just... Um, I think it just confirms what um, I knew I had to do and that was just do my job. Um, I came on and we were up by 20 odd points or something so I knew I had to keep that momentum rolling and I knew I had to bring some energy so um, regardless of the scoreboard I, I had a job to do and um, yeah I was focused on doing that. Could you see the difference from the bench from game one to game two and if you did what was it? Um, oh, we were a lot more dominant I think in game two. We, um, had a lot of errors out, our effort areas were um, a lot better and we probably front loaded our energy a lot more um, and results came off the back of that so um, it's something that I, it's kind of out of my hands I think coming off the bench it's um, we started a lot better I think and that was a that was something that sort of propelled us towards a, a, a lot more dominant win than, um, than game one so um, yeah like I said before it's um, good to sit back and watch the boys um, be really dominant and uh, do their thing in the first 30, 40 minutes. And um, when I came, when I came on, it was it was time for me to do my job. So um, yeah, it was a great night. Now it's something you dream of playing for New South Wales, but playing in a decider. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I'm really excited, man. I'm just um, taking it as it comes. Really, I'm trying to embrace everything. Um, it's something that you know I'm probably not used to. So I'm just trying to learn off um, a lot of the other experienced boys here and how to deal with it all and um, yeah I'm just um, at the end of the day I'm just trying to enjoy everything it's um, something that doesn't come around too often um, these type of camps and obviously like you said playing in, in a decider in origin at, at, at ANZ with 80 thousand people there it's something that's pretty special so I'm trying to enjoy it trying to embrace everything and um, I'll enjoy the week I'll you know, like I said before learn off all the boys and um, you know hopefully we can come away with the win. What's the number one thing you've learned off the boys been in camp the last couple of games? Um, I don't know, I've never really thought of it, thought about it. Um, maybe, I think the professionalism sort of steps up a little bit when it comes to these sort of games. A lot of people are playing two games in in a space of a couple of days, so um, you have to be really dedicated and you have to be um, consistent with your recovery, um, consistent with the way you treat your body, with um, how sensible you are off the field and stuff like that. So that's probably a big thing and there's probably, you know, a number of other things that I'll look back on in hindsight and, and see that I learned off, off a lot of the boys here. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a great it's a great environment for a young player like me to be around and um, learn off a lot of the older boys, like I said. And um, yeah, I said before, I just want to enjoy the week and um, come away with the win on Wednesday. Good on you, mate. Enjoy the week. Thank you. Cheers.